Seattle University professor, sociology professor, applied for a dean position at Marquette University, which is a Roman Catholic university. Turns out that she uh, received the position, she uh, got accepted for the position, and uh, she was excited about it. She was going to be uh, the dean for the College of Arts and Scientist Sciences at Marquette. After uh, administrators found out that she is openly lesbian, and after they read some of her published work, they decided, yeah, we're going to rescind this offer. We've got an open lesbian. By the way, which sounds pretty good. <laughs> okay. An open lesbian? <laughs> yeah. She is openly lesbian. We cannot have this. Now, remember we did the story about the right-winger saying that we can't have an uh, openly lesbian woman on uh, the court. Right, mm -hmm. not just the Supreme Court, but on a lower court, they were blocking her because she was openly lesbian. So now, apparently, this is spreading, and their uh, College of Arts and Sciences. Aren't you supposed to have a lesbian run that? <laughs> I know, my bad, my bad. <laughs> okay, now seriously, what century are we in? Really, really? Uh, okay, if you're, oh, what's next? Okay, well, you like girls, so no, you can't run the college. Oh, you like redheads? No, nah, no, nah, you can't run the college either. Okay, oh, uh, you like, you know what, you like Latino guys? Mm, no, that's kind of weird too. No, not having it. You can't run the college either. What do you care who I like and don't like? Right. Well, what, why does the college Marquette care what she's doing inside her bedroom? Well, I'll tell you exactly what they, why they care. So Reverend Robert Wilde uh, explained why they decided to rescind uh, the offer. And it turns out that he says, look, it's not about her sexuality. We don't, no, care. Of course we don't care about that. Oh, of course not. But we read some of her published work, and uh, it raised a few eyebrows, and we're uncomfortable with it. So let me give you the titles of some of her published work, which sounds totally fine to me. Uh, one of them is Queered Christian Identities. <laughs> 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 and the other one is Queer Christian Social Movements. All right, now, look, you have to understand something. Don't get thrown off by the word queer and Christian in the same uh, title. Just calm down for a second. She has a scholarly paper on how do you interact, uh, you know, how does the gay community interact with the church, which is a very interesting topic and should be a topic of a scholarly paper, okay? But these guys here, queer and Christian in the same sentence, they're like, openly lesbian. <laughs> don't think, don't think, just fire, okay? Just, just make sure you rescind her offer. Now, come on, that's just, look, you're supposed to be smarter than that. You're a university. You're supposed to be better than that. And apparently you're not. Let me tell you what this is really about, okay? okay? This is about the donors, all right? Of course. So the university, of course, has donors, and uh, some of them got word of the fact that they were about to have a new openly lesbian dean, and some of them threatened to stop making donations to the university. And allegedly Robert Wilde didn't like that, and that's one of the reasons why he decided to rescind the offer. Yeah, and look, I get that. I get the economics of the universities, and they really need their donors. But what if your donors said, um, and so I'm being, you know, sympathetic to that to some degree, right? But what if your donors said, hey, you know what? Uh, we didn't know you hired a black guy to be the dean. I mean, that totally makes us uncomfortable. We're old school, remember, right? And so we don't think that uh, blacks can, uh, you know, be a dean of a school. I mean, maybe a teacher or a professor. But come on, dean? Okay, so would you say, well, I mean, that's my donors. What can I do? So I just rescinded. I didn't know he was black. It turns out he's openly black. Okay, you wouldn't do that, right? What if your uh, donor said, oh, you had a Jew? What the hell were you thinking, man? No, no, no. Jews aren't right for that position. Who would, who would give in to that? Nobody, right? I hope. Uh, so it's equally ridiculous to give in to it because she's openly lesbian. Get out of her bedroom, man. And I thought the right-wingers didn't want people coming into our house. They didn't want, you know, the intrusion into our private lives, right? That's what I hear them bitching and complaining about all the time with Obama. Ah, you got to come in, uh, intrusion, ah. But what happened? Why are you inside our bedroom? Get out of the, get the hell out of there. Go, scat, right. screw it. Look, Professor Jody O'Brien, mm -hmm. I think, first of all, is a wonderful professor because she is openly lesbian. She's not afraid to share it with the world, okay? Mm -hmm. Obviously, she's published scholarly articles uh, that have contributed to sociology, and she should be proud of that. I don't think she should even waste her time wanting to be the dean of a university like this. Mm -hmm. Roman Catholic University, your, your uh, co-workers are probably not going to respect you. They're probably not going to treat you f fairly. So who cares? Uh, you're mean, taking it over the top. <laughs> now, look, if it, I hear what you're saying because 
if they do this to you, then of course, if they say to me, oh, I'm sorry, I rescinded your report because I didn't know you were a Turk. Jesus, that's really swarthy. Mm -hmm. And our donors are com complaining about that. They're worried you're going to be too greasy, mm -hmm. right? I'm like, well, but I'm not sure I'm really comfortable working with you, right? But, uh, you know, I think you're being a little unfair to the coworkers, though, because we don't know what their other deans are like. We don't know what the other... Right. Uh, okay, I'm generalizing too much okay. about everyone from the university. Of course there are going to be people who work there that will accept her and aren't uh, terrible people like Reverend Robert Wilde. Okay? <laughs> you're not backing down from that. <laughs> no. And, and by the way, but, to be fair to them, and you know this, the, uh, a lot of the students are protesting. Yes, and that's another uh, p part of the story that's very important. Over 100 students that go to this university, Marquette, uh, have started protesting and uh, they want to allow her to be the dean of this particular college in the university. And, and look, if I'm the students, I'm really mad. And if I'm, another, if I'm a, an alumni of Marquette and an, actually a donor to Marquette, funny enough, I would be really upset at this action because it devalues your university. It makes it a bit of a joke. It makes it seem like that you're not picking based on academic credentials but on prejudices. And for a university, if you're not smart enough to make the decisions based on academic record, uh, but based on personal identity, well, God, that really devalues the university. So the students are right to protest because it's wrong, uh, but they're also right to protest because their diplomas just got devalued. And if I was over there, I'd be irate. And so the donors have, uh, un ironically, uh, you know, done great damage to the university here. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly uh, the administrator here who made the decision to uh, con concede to them uh, has uh, made a terrible mistake. So we'll see if they try to amend it, but at this point, if I was her, I, I wouldn't go in anyway.